Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 40 of What's That Pepper series. Today, I have a very beautiful pod to show you. This is a Bahamian goat. And it's actually one of the peppers that we're having a growing contest on, on our pepper lovers community. One of my all-time favorite. So, uh, let's go take a look at the plant and then we'll come back. I'll cut this open and tell you more about this. Alright guys, here is a look at my Bahamian goat pepper. This is probably one of the all-time favorite varieties of mine that I grow every single season. And I'm actually hosting a contest of the Bahamian goat on Pepper Lovers Community. So if you guys are interested in some information, join us and uh, I'll post a link below so you can see uh, what the contest is all about. But um, Bahamian goat is uh, one of the contest uh, plants and there's a reaper ones and jay's peach goes and a sugar rush that's a few more contests that are going on right now it's very very exciting but uh i'm hosting this one and i'm actually doing the worst uh, job at growing the bahamian goat there's other members that are just doing spectacular their plants are already at a hundred something pods uh, I think Charles is at 150 or something like that. So uh, <laughs> Charles is in the lead so far. Anyway, there, here is mine. And I think I probably have five. So uh, let's take a look at the pods. And then we'll pick a few. And then we'll try it. But uh, here's the plant. I, it started pretty late. I had a bunch of uh, mites problem in the beginning. But uh, I corrected it and... Uh, it's looking beautiful. This plant is just gorgeous. And they are one of the most productive, delicious peppers, uh, in my opinion. It just, I just love this variety. Anyway, let's pick a few pods and then we'll try it out. So, Bahamian goats are very unique pods. They, they, some of them have bonnet shapes, which are my favorite. And some of them even have like a little tail, thing, like something like that. But um, gorgeous pods, taste great. They're the secret for my hot sauce. So you guys now know. <laughs> so uh, let's pick this one here, it's ready. Look at that pod, it's just beautiful. Nice color. So we'll pick up another one. And while we're at it, I'm going to show you a cross of mine that I've been working on for a while. This is now on F3, and it is a MOA Scotch Bonnet crossed with a Bahamian goat. So let me show you. All right, here is the plant, and this is going to be in my next review. So I figure I'll show it to you real quick so you can see how beautiful the, sh the pods are. Look at this. It's like, see, it's starting to ripen already right there. So. Look at that, it's nice saucer shape with that crazy looking tail, perfect shape. This is exactly how I want it to look. And the other one, same thing. Look at that, it's starting to ripen from the bottom. So it's a nice saucer shape, very, very beautiful. So those are the two that I have so far. And that should be coming up on the next review. So be on the lookout for those. All right guys, here is a close up look at this beautiful Bahamian goat. And this, as I mentioned before, is one of my favorite varieties. They are just absolutely gorgeous. They sometimes look um, a lot like the bonnet shape, but the colors and the calyx, you can almost tell them apart. These are, they typically turn a very nice golden to an orange color like these here are more golden so once they have more time to ripen up it'll turn to this beautiful orange color right here and the calyx is uh, very large and it encompasses sort of like the the very end of the pepper and uh, that's that's how I usually can tell the scotch bonnet and these Bahamian goat apart so uh, this is the more ripened one so we'll try that one Cut it open and let you see.
absolutely gorgeous pot. I just love these things. Wow, I can smell it right away. Very nice and fruity. Has a really pleasant smell that I really enjoy. Almost a little bit like a scotch bonnet, but I, I believe these Bahamian goats are a little bit spicier and uh, has, a, has a nice uh, sweet aroma just like the scotch bonnet. So let's give it a smell. Wow. It, it smells pretty hot and uh, it it does remind me a, a lot of the scotch bonnet or most of the Caribbean peppers uh, are typically have this very pleasant smell and and I just love the way they smell so the inside is very nice and white you see that the placenta is nice and white and uh, not a lot a lot of seeds nice decent sized wall as you can see the fluid are, are flowing as I cut them so it's nice and thick and juicy so uh, let's give it a try. All right, guys, here is the Bahamian goat. We're going to give it a try. Wow, it has, it has a very pleasant smell, as I mentioned. Nice fruity tone. You can, you can pick up the heat in here. These peppers have a, a very nice scent that I always enjoy. It doesn't have any floral aroma, just like the ghost. I'm kind of, I'm not a fan of those. Very pleasant smell, so we'll, we'll cut some of this and try it. And these are not crazy hot, but they are very, very hot peppers. So they, I think they're a little bit spicier than, um, the, the the usual scotch bonnet so the usual scotch bonnet can go up to like about 350,000 Scoville units this is around there a little bit hotter but uh that's usually where they stand so they they do uh, have some heat so let's give it a try very crunchy mm, extremely sweet very good pepper no heat immediately wow this is really really good tasting pepper no heat yet tastes almost like a a mild fruit man excellent uh, tasting but um Surprising, no heat <laughs> yet. So let me get um, one closer to the, the placenta area. Wow, I just love the way this tastes. Very nice and sweet. Probably one of the sweetest that I've had in a while. Uh, the other sweeter one was um, the MOA Scotch Bonnet Red, the one that uh, Jay, Jay has on his channel. So uh, uh, yes, if you wanna talk to Jay, I'll put links to his information below. Jay grows some uh, really, really good peppers. And one of the ones that I really enjoy was the Red MOA, which tastes very, very much like this, very pleasant. Man, so good. I'm not detecting any heat so far. <laughs> Man, there, there is heat, but it's not the heat that I was expecting because I've, I've had these before. The taste is very similar, but the heat isn't quite there. The taste is excellent. It's, it doesn't even taste like a pepper. It's like a mild fruit, as I mentioned. And then you have this very subtle heat, very little. Let me, let me try the half of the placenta and see if that would kick some heat on because so far I haven't detected anything except the pepper wow it's, it's so sweet 
So I just bit into the seed, so it's a little bit bitter. Yeah, the placenta area is uh, the part that gives you like a little bit bitter taste because of the seeds around it. But there's more heat in that. Yep, the heat's coming. It's starting to get hot. Yep, very hot. Excellent flavor. Probably one of my favorites so far. It's initially, I mean, it's nice crunchiness, soft, very nice and tender uh, flesh, crunchy. So I just picked this, so uh, it's 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 fresh, so it's always the best. Wow, the heat is coming on right now, burning all over the mouth, back of the throat. It took a while. Um, I mean, I I literally ate almost half of the, a very large pod before I the heat started to, to kick in because I got in the placenta area. The seed, if you dig out the seed, the taste is perfect. With the seeds in there, there's a little bitterness. And it's hot. Some peppers, the seeds doesn't taste like anything. So those are the ones that you can eat the seed and they're fine. Like most of the ahi. Um, there's some peppers that the seed is just really not very good. Nice and it's just bitter. And this one, the seeds is very bitter. But they're, they're, they're located at one little section, so you just cut the bottom and the, the seeds will just come right out. Very good heat, but you have to really get into the placenta area to get the heat to come up. But uh, other than that, it's just nice sweetness, lots of good flavor, real pleasant smell. One of my favorite. Um, if you want a mild salsa, this is the pepper for you. Excellent, excellent pepper. I can't say enough good thing about this variety. So if you never heard of a Bahamian goat, come to uh, Pepper Lovers community. I mean, everyone on the community know about this pepper or some of them are grown this and they can tell you how good this is. So there you have it guys, um, I'm very surprised of the heat, it's, it's not even that crazy, uh, usually it's a lot hotter, it may be just uh, <laughs> that particular pot, but um, it's fantastic, it tastes so good and it's very very nice and sweet, it's almost like a mild fruit with, uh, with heat, so uh, <laughs> that's as best as I can put it. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, check out Pepper Lovers Community for more information about the contest and the peppers. And uh, you can see, I mean, there's so much excitement going on right now. And I'm probably in the last place as, as, so, as far as my plants are going. I mean, I have maybe five fruits. All right. Uh, see you next time on the next What's the Pepper series. And uh, thank you for watching.